Rated PG-13. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer, and this is part two of the Mobile Crane Oversized Load from ATS, or American Truck Simulator Heavy Haul DLC. I'm going to go look at the world map. So we started off in Yuma, Arizona, and we're working our way up to Kingman, Arizona. Relatively short run, as you can see. We are currently at a rest stop to get some sleep, and we may be doing some night hauling, depending on how things go. Also need to get gas at some point, um, but I don't see an actual good uh, service station to stop at along the way. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back into the game. Let's get some rest real quick while we're here at this rest stop. There you go, there's the truck that we're using. It's Kentworth W900, outfitted with the lights, oversized load, and the flag. And we're on an artic articulating trailer, excuse me, with the signs and flags out back as well. So pretty good looking if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and turn the engine off, get some sleep. There we go. It's going to burn most of the daylight hours and we're going to be working our way into the night, which is not a problem. Hopefully there's less traffic on the road. Want to make sure that I don't hit the back of the trailer on anything heading out of here. Looks to be fine. Pretty close, but I still made it. There we go. Might even get some rain coming up. Looks like there's some storms out there. Heading east on 10. And then we're going to be heading north here shortly. Actually, it looks like the storm's behind me. Or might be moving my way. We'll find out here in a little bit, though. Anyways, keep in mind this is a YouTube only video. It's not actually part of my live stream. Although I will be live streaming shortly after this video is made. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like the fact that it's not part of a live stream and it's for you, YouTube guys. And please, please hit the thumbs up button if you could. Definitely keeps me going, helps me making more videos. And I'm hoping to get to the 10,000 subscriber point. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Maybe a little bit of a stretch, but I'm definitely hoping for it. Keep in mind, this is also a World of Trucks contract, so we cannot go above 65 miles per hour. That's what we're limited to, unfortunately. Which is fine, considering how much weight we're actually transporting. A lot of weight right there, let's put it that way. We got State Patrol right next to us. Go ahead and get back in the cab before I hit this guy on accident. So just under 170 miles to go, four and a half hours in game, uh, in game time, roughly. And I'm thinking the thunderstorms are actually behind us, so we should be okay. Crazy looking billboard right there. The black cat on it, kind of cool. W900 definitely has a lot of torque and a lot of power. I think it's over 2,000 foot-pounds of torque, which is very good. Slow down just a little bit. We're starting to catch up on traffic, as you can see. Exiting here, heading further north towards Kingman, Arizona. Oh, we might actually get some rain. I see some droplets on the windscreen. I think I spoke a little bit too soon. 
go ahead and go into 4L. Oh, I'm actually going to stop up here anyways, so. So nighttime raining and delivering an oversized load. Definitely not how I wanted to end part two, but. Let's just hope I don't do anything devastating on the way. Again, pull the trailer as wide as possible. There we go. Go ahead and speed up the windshield wipers. Light rain is definitely turning into a storm. Which it's actually storming at my house right now in San Antonio due to the hurricane right now. So I guess it's pretty fitting, right? Go ahead and downshift a half a gear as we get up this hill. Definitely storming, that's for sure. Going to seven low. Keep the wheels as close as you can to the inside line on these turns. Speed limit's 55, which should be good. I don't see any tight turns coming up. Go ahead and leave it in cruise control for a minute. We actually have to get down to 15 miles per hour, supposedly. It's hard for me to even go that slow without losing power. Let's go and speed back up. Split gears as we go up through the RPM range. Keep in mind, I am using the G29 plus the SKRF shifter, in case you were wondering. Another reduced speed ahead. stop sign in the middle of nowhere. Go back to the high gears, 5L, and we'll start splitting again into 5 high. work our way back up to 55 miles per hour. Six high. In case anybody's wondering, the SKRS shifter is definitely worth it for this game. 
makes it a joy to play. I, I would highly, highly recommend it if you have the money to buy one. It's not something that would end up being a paperweight. It's something that you would use quite a bit. And finally, should be able to get to seven high. And we'll lock it in 55 here shortly. There we go. About 70 miles out, just under two hours in game time. kind of weird on the left hand turns with the Kentworth W900 the front nose sticks out so far that when you're taking a proper left it looks like the nose is sticking over the line when in reality it's actually not if you don't do that though the back of the trailer will be on the other other person's street and it'll actually hit the AI traffic or cause them to even potentially stop actually need to downshift it looks like back to seven low and looks like we're going to be going up here on the highway, taking a right towards Kingman again. And I'm gonna go ahead and try this in five low if we can. Now you gotta take this as wide as possible because of the barrier right there. One L, which I don't want to be in one L. Barely cleared the uh, barrier back there. I'm not sure if you guys could see that or not. I meant to do five L. I actually ended up shifting the one L, which is not a good thing to do. I guess it's for the best considering how much I slowed down though. Back to the high gears. And start splitting the gears as needed. Trip economy is going downhill. I'm at 4.1 right now. Go back to 7 high after that. Looks like we're on I-40 right now. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in 8 low. 65 miles per hour, although we're very, very close to our destination. Kingman, Arizona, I know, is right up here. Looks like we're less than 30 miles to go. Which is good timing because we're really, really low on fuel. So before I start my live stream, I'm definitely going to have to stop at the gas station or picking up another delivery. Again, it looks like the nose is kind of sticking over, even on this swooping left-hand turn right here, but we're definitely not outside the line. Just make sure the back of the trailer stays inside the lane if we can. All right, here's the exit.
And luckily we do have an actual stoplight to help us out. As long as it stays green, we'll be all right. Then it goes wide as possible. And we're just gonna take our time moving in. Try to figure out where we're actually delivering the set. I can't tell if it's FedEx from here or not. has slowed down though which is good now it looks like it's actually a plaster and suns from what I can tell which I have yet to park an oversized load at plaster and suns so this should be really interesting either for the uh, the better or the worse which you'll see here in a second as wide as possible. Ah, oh, there's actually a little barrier right there which is making me a little nervous. Go ahead and slow down a little bit. In fact, I'll put it in one low. It's going to be very interesting to get it in there. It looks like we should be fine. And straight the back of the trailer up a little bit. I think we'll be all right. There we go. It's about as good as it gets right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at my parking job real fast. For an oversized load, that's really good. I could have straightened it out a little bit more by pulling forward, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. That way I'm not having to reverse for any reason. Anyways, that's going to be it for this YouTube video. I definitely appreciate all of you guys for hanging out with me. Well, I guess before I should close it out, I should actually look at how we did, right? Which is probably the most important thing. Turn the engine off. Let's go ahead and detach the trailer before we go. There you go right there. Syncing with the World of Trucks. That's my 107th contract with World of Trucks. 345 miles, 40 minutes taken consumed 103.9 gallons and it paid 27,899. Had no issues, no fines, didn't hit anything. That's how you do an oversized cargo right there. But again, please, please hit the thumbs up button. If you watched this entire video, leave me a comment below so I can chat back with you. Just say good job, whatever you wanna do, or cheers. Cheers is obviously the best for me, considering I'm about to start drinking some whiskey and live streaming this game. But again, it's The Middle-Aged Gamer. Make sure to go to twitch.tv slash The Middle-Aged Gamer and click the follow button if you want to watch my live streams in the future. And let me know if you guys like this video for your YouTube audience only. There's no live stream, no chat, which some of you guys may like, some of you may not like. Let me know why and what the reason is beneath me if you could. And I'll see you on the next video or live stream. I appreciate it, guys. Take care and don't die.